All right, welcome back everyone to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3. I'm getting ready to start the next mission, which is going to be a naval one. Should be fun. Shall we? Damn it, they took my arrows again. Oh, I upgraded my pistol to a double-barreled pistol. Um, you can fire two shots. Uh, not the same... T well, I don't think it's the same time, but you can fire two shots before you have to reload. I don't know if that means reload time is like significantly more or not, but... Uh, either way. Paul heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Rain her in to have well, the not been to hunt very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, father. This is narrow. Welcome. Hi, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. The church always was a slippery little bastard. Enemy ahead! They're making to flee! After them! We need more speed! Half sail! Half sail! Loosen to full sail! I want everything! Dang it. How is it? You came to Captain Ship. Give speed. Give him the way you say. Sail. Rogue wind. Bring her in to half sail. These are off. Half sail. We need every knot. Full sail. I want 
on everything. Full sail, go get that wind. It's almost as though you want him to escape. She's passing between the cliff, boy, and the Akeel is too big to follow. We need to go around. God damn it! We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Let fly, full sail. Full sail, go get that wind! Come on. I didn't even see that optional one. Church done with the cargo. Been quite an adventure. Let me tell you. Working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And for the quietude with which you pulled it off! 
We had a dream, Benjamin! A dream you sought to destroy! And for that, my fallen friend, you will be made to pay! came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Again, where are the supplies? <laughs> On the island beyond there. Awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No, not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> Are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? Who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands? How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes. As though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. As dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think of that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without Zawaniyos kinaha, nekti yah nete kaantu ti tokaske. Passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. Oh well. I tried. Oh, I didn't realize it was the end of the uh, memory sequence. Cool. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality. But it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. 
I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. Hmm. Right then, um, that'll be the end of this part. Thank you all for watching. Please tune to the next part. Uh, let's take a quick look at the main map. I may do some homestead missions. Uh, I know that there is a homestead mission in Boston that I can do. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, that is a recruiting mission where I recruit A doctor, I think? I can't remember. Anyways, there's a recruiting mission somewhere in Boston. It's not showing up on the map, so... Maybe it's not available right now. But I will try. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please, uh... Check out some of my other videos. Uh, I'm sure there's something you may find that you'll enjoy. And, uh, I will see you in the next part.